What is going on ladies and gentlemen, RealTouchGML here back with another Java game programming tutorial and today what we're going to be doing is looking at adding a shooting type of uh, mechanic into our game. So here, as you can see I changed up the level a little bit, I don't know, I, cause, just because I wasn't really digging the last level. But uh, you know, obviously it's very very easy to actually uh, you know change the levels around due to the system that we made in a couple tutorials back. So yeah, today what we're going to be doing is making it like a little shooting system. And what this is going to do is open up uh, a new sort of mechanic to the game in which we can create enemies that you can then kill and try and get over, maybe power up, stuff like that. But we're just going to do a very, very basic bullet today. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new class. And I'm just going to name it Bullet. And it's just going to extend game object. There we go. And then you can just add the constructor in. And add the unimplemented methods. And get rid of this add override. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and draw the block. So g.setColor color.yellow or you know let's make it just red just so it pops out a little bit better I'm not actually gonna be using a sprite obviously you can import a sprite it's pretty easy uh, you know we've done a lot of that in the past tutorials so I'm just gonna make it a rectangle and I'm just gonna say XY uh, 1616 16. right and then we have to cast that to an inf there we go Okay, so here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say x plus equals velocity x. There you go. And so that's basically all we need to do because what's going to happen is uh, we're going to take this bullet and basically set the velocity x when it's created. So we can also just set the bounds real quick. New rectangle int x int y 16 by 16 all right so let's go ahead and go into the player here and or actually you know what? we're gonna go into key input and let's see do, 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 do. if we don't have I'm trying to look here so we do have a facing variable here now basically we're gonna use this facing variable in our in our key input class but the only problem here is that <clears throat> we don't actually we can't actually access the facing variable within another class because what we're doing here is we're extending the game object and uh, you know what actually let's go ahead and check let's go into game object here uh, so we don't actually have get facing Okay, so I guess we can go ahead and do that now. So you're going to want to have to go into the game object here. And, and let me just tell you what I'm doing because I'm, I'm kind of uh, doing this on the fly. Well, basically what we need is this facing variable because we need to know which way to shoot the bullet. You know, if the player is facing to the right, we don't want to shoot the bullet into the left direction. Right? So in our player here, we can basically get rid of this facing and create it just in the game object which is going to set every which is going to set every uh, game object to have this variable but uh, it's, it's really okay we don't really need uh, it doesn't really matter so I'm just going to get a uh, create a quick getter here and we're just going to return that facing value okay so now we can we can still use that facing and everything and everything's good let me just make sure yeah so we are changing the values here all right so now in key input all we have to do really is let's substitute this VK space for W and in here let's say if key equals 
key event dot vk space. Nope. And then here, what we're going to do is we're just going to basically say handler dot add object new bullet at temp object dot get x temp object dot get y and what are the parameters uh, and the ID so let's go ahead and go into object ID here and let's just create a new ID so we're gonna say bullet perfect so inside the key input we just say object ID dot um, bullet And actually, let's put one more parameter in there. Um, we are going to say, so here's what we're going to do. Let's go actually go into the bullet here. And in the constructor, int velocity x, this dot velocity x equals velocity x. So here what we can do now is say, OK, so we can say <clears throat> temp object dot get facing times 5. And basically what this is going to do is say we're going to get our facing value. So if we're facing to the right, well, actually, you know, let's just see if it works first. Ah, it does work. Okay, cool. So basically what, what this does here is, as you can see, we have, we're, we're setting the velocity x here. And what we're doing is setting temp object dot get facing, which is, either one or negative one and we're multiplying that by five so if one is right and we're facing to the right it, it's gonna be five if we're facing to the left that means get uh, the facing value is negative one and negative one times five is negative five so it's now setting that in the opposite direction now we should probably add I don't know, 48 we'll say yeah that's better So there you go. So now we have a cool little shooting mechanism. And actually, let's make that just a little bit faster. So we could say 10. So this is the speed right here that we're setting. So we'll say 10. Just so we're not as fast as, uh, as our bullet. So now we actually have a cool little system here. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's go ahead and try for 75 likes this time. And... Uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a kind of fast tutorial, but go ahead and rewatch it if if something didn't make sense to you. And go leave in the comments any suggestions or uh, any questions that you have. So leave a like, go and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.